Absolute Risk Reduction, Wikipedia Article Audio In epidemiology, the absolute risk reduction, risk difference, or absolute effect is the change in the risk of an outcome of a given treatment or activity in relation to a comparison treatment or activity. It is the inverse of the number needed to treat. In general, Absolute risk reduction is the difference between one treatment comparison group's event rate and another comparison group's event rate. The difference is usually calculated with respect to two treatments A and B, with A typically a drug and B a placebo. For example, A could be a five-year treatment with a hypothetical drug, and B is treatment with placebo, i.e. no treatment. A defined endpoint has to be specified, such as a survival or a response rate. An example is the appearance of lung cancer in a five-year period. If the probabilities P A and P B of this endpoint under treatments A and B, respectively, are known, then the absolute risk reduction is computed as Presenting results Worked example the inverse of the absolute risk reduction, NNT, is an important measure in pharmacoeconomics. If a clinical endpoint is devastating enough, drugs with a low absolute risk reduction may still be indicated in particular situations. If the endpoint is minor, health insurers may decline to reimburse drugs with a low absolute risk reduction. Consider a hypothetical drug which reduces the relative risk of colon cancer by 50% over 5 years. Even without the drug, colon cancer is fairly rare, maybe 1 in 3,000 in every 5-year period. The rate of colon cancer for a 5-year treatment with the drug is therefore 1-6,000, as by treating 6,000 people with the drug one can expect to reduce the number of colon cancer cases from 2 to 1. The raw calculation of absolute risk reduction is a probability. Authors such as Ben Goldacre believe that this information is best presented as a natural number in the context of the baseline risk. Natural numbers, which are used in the number needed to treat approach, are easily understood by non-experts. Absolute measures, such as the risk difference, are superior to relative measures, because relative measures tend to exaggerate estimations of effectiveness.